So speaking about atrial fibrillation, the recent experience we have, it's if I can name the companies or the, if I can name the systems, it'd be like new version of uh, local like uh, cryo balloon, third generation to get better uh, touch up of uh, PVs to be able to get broader lesions. And saying that means that to set up the timing, or like the, well, I mean the time limits for the procedure itself, there are some new technologies using RF balloon, irrigated balloons, like uh, APAMA, like uh, uh, ba Barsens Webster, the Helios, which can even make a procedure shorter. And there is another very excited technology using so-called like, uh, electroporation, which is different energy than we used before, not cryo, not RF. It's like high energy, instant application, and it could be just absolutely faster. And uh, right now is running a very interesting study, the ID trial using diamond tip catheter for RF application, which can, you can argue that you need to have instant transmission of, of RF um, to the tissue. And this diamond tape with mitre electrodes uh, can help you to really make the procedure like, I mean, the application effective since the zero. Okay, so it's instant, high power, fast application, which really can create much better lesion. And if we can guarantee that we are not only, I mean, faster, but we are effective as well for a long time. The EP field is really growing. An EP field means that we are able to treat nearly all the arrhythmias. And we need to also train other colleagues from not only cardiology colleagues, but uh, also internal medicine and actually broader or practitioners that killing the atrial fibrillation is not killing atrial fibrillation only, like as arrhythmia, but we are killing the epidemics. I mean, we are really affecting the epidemics uh, of the population because, you know, in my daily practice right now, I've seen different patients than I've seen before. Atrial fibrillation patients are now not only older, because we are also repeating, okay, we are aging, aging, aging. So we have more patients with atrial fibrillation because of aging. It's not fully true because so I've seen more productive, I mean, even like 50 years old, 30 years old, maybe even like 20 years old patients with atrial fibrillation. So it's aging or not aging? No, because of epidemiology, it's like, stress, it's like neuromodulation. And if we can understand the neuromodulation, neuromodulation principles, we might be able to kill atrial fibrillation even not in the heart. But we are far away from this. It's my, it would be my target for the next, next, uh, next uh, years. If I, if I need to say something for young people, for example, if I'm young right now, which is, which is not true, but if I'm young, I would be excited to go for EP. Because PEP is not just like only the boring, time-consuming, long-standing procedures, like spend like four hours, eight hours, whatever. Because it's a very nice combination. You can be really fast right now, with, and you can treat the patients. You can treat the patients, you can help the patients. And actually, the perception is that you need to understand. So actually, intellectual property of our society, like EP society, is a little bit different than others. But we need to a little bit join more interventional thinking, or interventional cardiology thinking, but not losing our brains.